In this video, we are going to continue on building our main feed list adapter class. So we're going to carry on inside of our if convert view equals null method here. And I'm just going to go convert view set tag, nope, set tag to the holder. And then, whoops, whoops, holder. And then do else uh, holder equals convert view, or sorry, no, uh, equals view holder and then uh, convert view get tag. Okay, and now we need to build our get like string method and add new like method. Both are gonna be very similar to what we have in view post fragments. So let's just grab those. They're actually gonna be identical. So we can grab that. Just to rep my reference. And this is my reference my reference and we're gonna to need to actually pass the view holder again so view folder folder just so we can reference our heart so holder dot heart and we need also holder dot photo holder dot photo holder dot photo oops photo and then we need the context on the get string method so context and I'm just gonna copy that there we go there we go there we go whoops there okay so that looks pretty good now we can get our get like string method uh, i'm just going to search for it get likes string get likes string there we go copy that it's pretty long and post it down below here and this is going to be same sort of thing we're just going to grab the context Put in front of all the get strings, context, context, uh, any more context, any more context, nope. Uh, so now the view holder, so we're gonna be passing the view holder, go holder dot holder dot photo. I'm just gonna copy that. This is gonna be holder dot users, holder dot users. Hold it out. Yeah, hold it out users. And that's not final. I'm gonna make the view holder final. Get like string, that needs to pass the view holder. And make this one final. This is holder dot users. Holder dot users. Okay, I guess I can copy that. Holder users, holder users, any more. This is holder dot like string. So I can copy that one. Just pretty much, you know, they're actually identical, just changing the view holder. Like by current user, and then this is current user. Uh, so current user will be just user. I think that's what I put up here. Did I ever? I don't see a user. Well, I'm gonna pass the view holder into here. Pass the view holder into there. Holder dot user. Well, I didn't see a user in the view holder. I do not see a user, so what is it referring to? Oh, the user object. Oh, because we need to get the user object, which we will do soon. Just looking for all the errors, I'm going to go down to this red. Uh, setup widgets, comment that out. This is holder, got like string, and holder dot liked by current user, and comment out the setup widgets. And I want to add a try catch on this whole thing here. Just from testing, I found this was needed. So we'll do log e null pointer e dot get message. And inside here, we're going to do holder whoops holder dot uh, like string equals blank. And holder dot liked by that was weird liked by user equals false, 
and then we're gonna have a method called here called uh, setup likes string, which will set up the like string because in view post fragment we have a method called setup widgets, but we don't need to set up a whole bunch of widgets. We can just set up the likes string, and so now I'm going to whoops, this actually needs to be in the catch part. There we go, and so now I'm going to cut the catch part. And I'm going to put it down to the very bottom of this method, uh, so right, literally the lowest portion pot. Wait, not maybe not the lowest, maybe here, second lowest. Yeah, that's good, because that's the end of the method right there. Okay, and so anywhere where we saw this setup widgets method, basically we're going to be putting this setup the likes string method that we're, we haven't created yet. That's uh, going to be made pretty soon here. Yeah, let's actually get started on that right now. So we'll go down to the very bottom, and go private void setup likes string, and do final view holder holder and string like string and let's see just do log D uh, likes string my keyboard down arrow is starting to fail it's very annoying so if holder dot liked by current user then we know it's liked so photo is liked by current user and in that case, we want to set our heart white to view dot gone and holder dot heart. Oops, holder dot heart red. Set visibility view dot visible and holder dot uh, red. Set on touch listener new on touch listener and we want to return the holder dot detector dot on touch event and pass the event and then we're going to copy this and it's going to be pretty much the same logic but then for actually I can do an else I'm just copy the inside and then this is for the other situation so photo is not liked by the current user and then we just need to basically switch all these around. So this one is visible, the red heart is gone, and then the un untouched listener is going to get put onto the white heart. And let's see, let's go down below that, that's the same the method. And then we can do holder dot likes set text to our likes string. Okay, so there's our setup like string. Now let's call it everywhere where we wanted to call it. So holder, and then we need to pass the holder dot like string, and I'm going to copy that and put it everywhere where I put a comment. Basically, everywhere where there was that setup widgets method is where we want to put that. Okay, and uh, let's get the get timestamp difference method now. So we go into view post fragment and look for uh, get timestamp difference because we're going to need that method also for displaying the time difference or how long ago the post was posted and we're just going to post that down at the very bottom and this actually needs to get past the photo so whoops so photo photo and here we'll put the photo in order for that to work and now I guess we can go up into our let's see our get view method and we can start actually setting things and we still need to get the username and what else do we need to get? We need to get the username, we need to get the user object, and we also need to get the profile image. So basically we need to get the user, we need to get the account settings object, and we need to get the user object. So let's see, I guess I could stop this video here, and yeah, that, that, that way in the next one we'll finish it up, and I should be able to actually start displaying things in the main feed. So this is a good place to stop. So I will see you guys in that next video.